Man springs into action when he sees a stumbling drunk about to drive off with a child in the passenger seat. Peter Bernard is at the Land Lakes Jail tonight, where this woman, I guess by now, Peter, is sobering up, and this man really did all he could to stop her. He did a great job, but this woman, she still drove off and crashed. And that's why she's here tonight at the Pasco County Jail. An FHP report shows deputies eventually found this mom hiding in the woods. In cuffs and ready for the trip to jail, 31-year-old Jessica Watson is accused of crashing this SUV off Highway 41. The Ford Explorer came to rest on its side in a home's backyard. She repeatedly told me that she didn't want to be arrested. Stopping to get a drink early Tuesday evening at the Sunoco station at Bowman Road and Highway 41, Tim Imhoff noticed a very drunk woman. She was stumbling all over the place, slurring her words to her kid, leaning on her car, trying to keep up. Standing up, went inside the store with their child, came out with another beer. He called 911. I told him that maybe, you know, she shouldn't be leaving anywhere. She handed me her keys. Then things took a turn for the worse. She took her keys from me after I couldn't get a hold of anyone for her and tried to run me over with her car. Watson backed out, hitting him. When I started hitting her windows, trying to break them to get in wow. to take her keys. The FHP report says Watson headed south on 41. Her four-year-old daughter without a seatbelt on in the passenger seat. She made it less than a mile. Tire marks show her path off the road, through a fence, mowing down everything in her way. Imhoff heard the crash and headed to the scene, but she and the girl were gone. Pasco deputies went to her home and used a canine to find her in the woods. Could have been done a lot more, maybe thrown her keys. Asked why she ran, the FHP says Watson told them she worried she'd lose her daughter. Uh-huh, and Tim Imhoff did a good deed tonight. Uh, kudos for that. As far as Jessica Watson, she faces a slew of charges. And as far as that daughter goes, we know the deputies found her in that mobile home, but we're still working to find out her condition. Keith? And this woman took a breathalyzer test, didn't she, Peter? Uh, you have the results from that? Yeah, uh, she really uh, was drunk, according to the FHP. She blew a 206 and a .202. That's more than double, double the legal limit. Yeah, feel bad for her and for her kid especially. Thank you. Peter Bernard, live in Pasco County.